River State Governor Yesom Wiki on Monday taunted the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, over the endorsement of Mr. Peter B, the Labour Party candidate for the presidency ahead of the PDP candidate. Wiki mocked Atiku that Obasan just said endorsement of Obi instead of him, despite he, Atiku, was Obasanjo vice from 1999 to 2007, spoke volumes of the personality of the former vice president. The governor took the occasion of the flag off of the Akbabu Odido Road at Itu Bridge Head, Omoha local government area, to demand that Atiku should leave him out of the attendant challenges he is facing in the PDP. He stated that a bad product was always difficult to sell, otherwise the former president would have recommended Alaji Atiku Abubakar to Nigerians, having worked together with him. We can insisted that if the former vice president, Obasanjo, had refused to recommend Alaji Atiku, then something must be fundamentally wrong. He opined that Atiku should be more concerned about that loss of confidence from his former boss, and his coming election than trying to blame what the G5 group of governors were doing or not. Wiki also took a swipe against those accusing him and Governor Samuel Autumn of Benway State of frustrating the micro-zoning of the presidential ticket of the People's Democratic Party PDP to Southeast. He explained that he had always believed and supported concerted effort towards ensuring that the presidency was zoned to the South. He said, I was one of those who led the campaign that the party's chairmanship should go to the north because I believe the presidency should go to the south. I attended meetings of southern governors of the All Progressive Congress APC, People's Democratic Party PDP, and other parties from Delta to Lagos to Enugu State, where we agreed that presidency should come to the south insisted that while Southern cross-party consultations were going on, there were people in the PDP who were bent on frustrating the eventual zoning of the party's presidential ticket to the South. Such people, he maintained, could not now turn around to cast the blame on him and Governor Autumn to hide their scheme, thinking they could deceive Nigerians. Wiki went on. I woke up this morning and read where they said, how Wiki and Autumn frustrated PDP's micro-zoning of presidential tickets to Southeast. That was what the PDP presidential candidate Atiku said. I keep on saying that they will be contradicting themselves, telling lies up and down, thinking that Nigerians don't know. How can they say that I influenced Autumn, told him to allow and throw the ticket open? Nigerians know those who are opposed to zoning of the party's chairmanship first. And when the zoning committee was set up this time, Atiku had gone to buy form to frustrate the recommendation of the zoning committee. So that when they have bought form, they could say, oh, there is no need for zoning, we'll, we'll tell people to withdraw. The governor said it was rather noteworthy that their gimmick is now haunting them because they were unfair to Nigerians. Yes, you don't like autumn, no problems. I know my own. You don't like me. No problems. But I, my state, gave you the highest support in 2019, both with logistics and by votes. You can't deceive every Nigerian again. What I have stood for is equity, fairness, and justice. So saying that I and Autumn frustrated PDP microzoning to Southeast is neither here nor there. They know that they don't want presidency to come to the south. Nason Wiki taunts Atiku Abubakar over um, Obasanjo's endorsement of Peter Obi. We know ever since um, Obasanjo's New Year message on the 1st of January where he sent messages to Nigerians and also publicly standing by Peter Obi, giving his reasons. It has been mixed reactions with jubilation in the camp of the Labour Party and then um, APC and PDP <laughs> throwing stones, war of words here and there. Um, those who are calling Obasanjo all sorts of names, PDP replying, APC responding as well. And 
what Wiki is doing right now, because Wiki is part of the uh, People's Democratic Party, although he's um, a member of the Integrity Group, the G5 governors who are opposing um, the presidency of Atiku for this singular reason that both the president and the national chairman cannot be from the same region. You know, he mentioned um, in this report that all he's standing for, that he's not against anybody, but all he's standing for is equity, justice, and fairness. There should be equity, there should be justice, there should be fairness. And even Atiku himself was the one who uh, made the promise that if the, the presidency goes to the north, that he shouldn't worry, the national chairman will resign. And um, <laughs> uh, it's now a very difficult thing. I'm wondering why is that difficult for your church to, ju to just resign so that um, they can have a united house. Because right now the house is not united. Obasanjo endorsing Peter Obi, Wiki is using it to taunt Atiku. And even sending a message to Nigerians, telling Nigerians that if this man's boss could not recommend him, ah, there is problem. Oh, that was the exact words Wiki used. That we should all know that there is problem because they they've worked closely. Atiku was the vice of uh, uh, Obasanjo from 1999 to 2007. He, he should be the first person to even recommend him. But you know, uh, Obase, uh, Obasanjo gave his reasons that he has met with all of the presidential candidates. You know, they've come to him and they claim they are all his mentees. He said, "I've spoken to all of them regarding their plans and everything. That the truth is that." <laughs> For the state where the country is right now, for true change, that some of them are saying what they mean and what they don't mean, what is realistic and what is not realistic, what uh, they can do and they cannot do. Also, that they are making all sorts of promises, but the person that he sees that can bring change is Peter Obi. This is really serious. And with Wiki's message right now, we know that um, Wiki is still not in support of Atiku Abubakar, although they, they've said, the G5 governors have said that um, in January they will they will reveal their preferred candidates, the candidate they are going to be supporting. It's very obvious um, <laughs> um, if Wiki is stating that they will reveal the candidate they will be supporting. PDP only have got one candidate. So he's just stating the obvious that um, at the end of the day, he's not going to be supporting his party, PDP. Because there's nothing to decide. If you have one option, you can't be saying, I will tell you who I, I'm voting for. You can only say that if if you have more than one option. Well, we'll see how all of this plays out. I'm wicked rejoicing right now that um, <laughs> Atiku was dumped by his boss. Leave us your take, guys. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again on more updates. Bye.